Hello everyone and welcome back to Agrarian Skies 2. Last time we left off we were looking through the quest book. Boop, boop. And we were on Sky Farm. And all we have left is milking tanks left to do. Which we need a Glyph of the Bovine which is under Auto Magi and I haven't been able to unlock it. But I found some research uh, or some stuff online that said that an Avarice Pearl, throwing an Avarice Pearl is the way to do it. Just keep throwing it until it breaks. Are people sure these things actually break? Because... Doesn't look like they do. Um, let's check out Avarice Pearl under Auto Magi. Avarice Pearl. What would that be under? Greedy chest? Yeah. Do 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 do. Pearl you discover seem interesting. A normal ender pearl teleports to you when thrown, but this one is more keyed into nearby items. Perhaps you should take it out for a spin. You might even learn something. More keen to items. Oh, cool. Okay, so let's just drop that, and it'll bring the item back to me. So maybe if I do that enough, it'll break. So let's go boop, boop, oh, whoops, and then boop, and boop. There we go. Inked poison. Okay. Boom. Okay, so now supposedly I've gained some knowledge. Well, let's go put away this junk though. Sleep the night away here so we can get rid of this rain. As the Avarice Pearl shatters, you gain a sudden flash of insight. So that should, uh, hopefully, be what we wanted. Structured Avarice. I don't think this is what we wanted. Who knows, though. Okay, so this lets me make Shattered Avarice Pearl. The Miser's Pearl. More than 10 stacks per throw. Okay. Okay, that's fair. That's actually kind of interesting. Enter disjunction. This looks like a ring. It is. And the Enderman Menace. <laughs> uh, crafted a ring that, when worn, hooks itself onto the invisible transdimensional threads generated by Ender creatures. Each teleport occurring nearby, whether arriving or leaving, results in a sudden and violent tearing away of these hooks, seriously injuring the creature. So anything trying to teleport gets hurt. Interesting. Wearing a second ring increases the damage dealt by 50%. And I can apply runic shielding to this thing. Awesome. Okay. Uh, 
I need some vacuo research now. And hopefully we can get this rune of the bow, glyph of the bovine or whatever. I'm also going to go through the rest of the book off camera if this doesn't do it. To try and find uh, anything else that said you might learn something. Alright, so I needed vacuo. Three vacuo to do this one. The tenacious chest. Imbuing a chest with greed, creating a simple new variant with a straightforward was a straightforward task. The tenacious chest values its components as you'd imagine any chest might, but this one has the ability to prevent items from being entirely taken away. You can still reach in and take out whatever you like, but golems, hoppers, and most other automation methods will be unable to remove the last stack of any given item. Oh, that's kind of cool. The chest will attempt to separate one item of each type into their own stacks. It might feel it can hold onto them better this way, but the true purpose for this behavior is to allow automation to have access to as many items as possible while still leaving one behind. Okay, fantastic. Eager chest. Three vacuo and five permutatio. I'm out of air bees, aren't I? Yeah. Three vacuo. Okay. Vacuo, vacuo, vacuo. What could I make to get a hold of some vacuo? Well, I could probably make some of those chests, actually. The tenacious chest looks pretty cheap. Yeah, let's give it a try. I've got a trap door I've been meaning to get rid of. And a slime ball. I've got coagulated blood. That should do the trick. Hopefully. It looked like glue and blue slime were usable, so I don't know I don't see why blood would not be. Oh, but but oh here you go. Take all of these. And the tenacious chest, it worked. Fantastic. No vacuo, of course. Alright, well then, that uh, was a bummer. What else would have air vs in it? Oh, glyphs. Never mind, we got this. I need to make fames, which I believe needs vacuo, unfortunately. Yeah, it does. Um, or I could just scan food items, right? Right. Um... I scanned sweet potatoes. I have. I probably scanned all the foods that I grow. Yeah. Uh, I've scanned raw beef. Have I scanned cooked beef? Maybe not. Let's find out. I have not scanned steak. Here we go. Oh, perfect. Four. That is more than I needed. Well, I'm probably going to need more, but that's going to do us for now. Uh, that's the wrong book. Thirsty Glyph. A uh, thirsty tank could do so much more with liquids than gather and store a few buckets worth. To unlock its potential, you have devised a system of glyphs and a special aqua-imbued inky paste to go with it. When this aqueous admixture is formed into the right shape alongside objects with appropriate properties, it can be magically impressed upon a slate, becoming a portable glyph that can be applied to the side of a thirsty tank. A thirsty tank can have up to six glyphs, one of each of its one on each of its sides. The side chosen is important in some cases certain glyphs effects are aimed in that direction. 
Uh, to remove a glyph, simply right click the side uh, while sneaking with a wand. It will void the excess. Any liquid it stores. Liquid will be siphoned out of the tank into another container in the direction specified. NV, Temperance, Preservation, Guzzler, Reservoir. Okay, now I wonder how I get that one. How do I unlock that one? Maybe I have to do this first. The eager chest. So I need air or vacuo. I don't know why I'm looking in here. Feathers. What can I make with feathers? A whole bunch of different desks. Fancy workbenches. More desks, more workbenches. The flugel tiara. The rod of the skies. Angel blocks, arrows, angel ring, book and quill, fireworks, No, but seriously though, uh, I could make a thermostatic girdle just to, just to scan, but meh. Sun is about to go down. Did we scan this thing? Oh, there's one vacuo for us. Cool. Da, 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 da. Anything else I haven't scanned in terms of machines? Nothing from the forestry gear. Scanned everything else, I assume. Oh, I have not scanned the energetic infuser. Did that do anything for me? Not really. Nothing from covers, good to know. I have scanned the reactor, right? Yeah. Auto enchanter. Can't scan the filter. Power tap. The inscriber. Cyanite reprocessor? Well... Hmm... Unfortunately, it does not appear to be working. Okay, uh... Do, 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 do. Air or vacuo? Air or vacuo? Chest. Uh, slightly larger chest. 
Oh, I th this sounds familiar. Have we made one of these before? I don't know. But if it gets me some vacuo, I'm okay with it, so whatever. That is not the right thing. Good to know I have three coal in there for some reason. Slightly larger chest from extra utilities. Damn. Bye bye. And we scan the deep storage unit. Yeah, look at that. 64 vacuo. We had 64 vacuo points at some point. And we've spent them all. Storage. Can we scan these things? Uh, no, it's not letting me. Yeah, it's not letting me do the two by two ones for whatever reason. It's not letting me do the Enderflex crystals. For whatever reason, same reason it's not letting me do the do yeah. Same reason it's not letting me do stone bricks. I assume. Huh. Well. I think my best option here. I only need a few more points of air. So what I'm going to do. Oh, actually, this is still over here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Is we're going to put these in here and hope for the best. Oh, these don't have Volatis. Well, that was a disappointment. Feathers, I guess. There you go. <sighs> and that's what I'm going to do. Until then... Oh. That was all the feathers I had. I guess not many chickens die in here. <laughs> that's fair. I only need three, so there you go. That should be everything we needed. All right. Eager chest. Okay, it did not unlock the thing. Variation of the greedy chest focuses attention on the person opening it instead of its neighbors. By tempering the pearl used in the construction, the eager chest imbued is with the desire to trade rather than steal. It is still rather impatient about this and so will immediately attempt to give and take items when opened. Another note, you suspect that this amalgam you've concocted will be valued highly by Pex. Interesting. Um, okay, so I don't know what I need to get that last glyph research. So, yeah, I don't know. I'll look into it. Uh... So that next time we know for sure what we need. Void. Consumption. Siphoning. Envy. Temperance. Preservation. Guzzler. 
reservoir. So yeah, I don't know. We'll we'll find out next time. But that's gonna do it for this episode. So thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed all that fun stuff as always. If you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like or a comment. Any and all feedback is always very much appreciated. It helps me out a ton, and I do always love hearing from you guys. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye for now.